hello everyone in this lecture i am going to teach you about the varignan's theorem it is one of the important theorem in engineering mechanics it's this theorem is also known as the moment of principle of moments the definition of this theorem is moment of all forces at a point is equal to the algebraic sum of moment of its component about the same point to understand this easily we can draw like this this is force f1 and consider this force as f2 and let this be the re resultant of these two forces this is the basic what i have done i have draw a parallel line to this and a parallel line to this force f2 just to make a parallelogram now i'm going to give some name to this parallelogram let consider this point to be o and this point to be a this point to be b and that this resultant point where these two parallel lines meet considered as c now let me draw the straight line from here a perpendicular from there a perpendicular from here and a perpendicular from here let me show you now you can see easily that i have draw a line straight line that is on x axis let consider this point to be d then i have draw a perpendicular from this point a and consider this to be e i have draw a perpendicular from b also let consider this to be f i have draw a perpendicular from point a to line cd and consider this as g further i have draw a perpendicular from point b to line dc and consider this to be h so all these are perpendicular now considering the angle of f1 from o as theta1 angle of o2 as theta2 and angle of resultant as theta and from some distance from o let's consider a point as o dash and this distance from o to o dash consider as x now here we have to draw three perpendiculars from this point o dash to point to the force f1 to the force f2 and to this r let me draw it first see i have draw this let consider this to be r1 this distance to be r2 and this distance to be r as this angle was theta1 so this angle will also be theta1 because these two are parallels and these two are the x axis again if this angle is theta2 then this angle will also be theta2 this is what something we have to do to understand it more easily we can name this to as a1 this to be as b dash this to be as a dash and this to be as c dash now from this figure we can conclude something as o a is equal to f1 o b is equal to f2 and o c is equal to r and further the distance o dash a dash we can consider it as r1 o dash b dash as r2 and o dash c dash as r so we can write it here which you can see here o dash a dash is equal to r1 o dash b dash is equal to r2 and o dash c dash is equal to r now considering three small triangles the triangle a dash o and o dash further b dash o and o dash and c dash o and o dash so we are going to consider three triangles one by one now why we are going to consider these three small triangles just to get these angles theta now see that in this small triangle what is theta 1 it is a dash o o dash a dash o o dash is theta 1 in a small triangle what about in this big triangle in this big triangle this theta 1 is nothing but a o e so a o e similarly for this triangle 
we can write and similarly for this triangle we can write you can see that b dash o o dash is the angle theta 2 and in this triangle b o f is the theta 2 see b o o dash is equal to theta 2 and angle b o f is also theta 2 similarly for this triangle we can write in this small triangle c dash o o dash is the angle theta and in this big triangle c o d is the angle theta you can see it here further in proving the variance theorem we have to see that some of the distances are equal for example b f is equal to the h d so similarly like this o a is equal to b c so we are going to write some distances which are equal uh, basically there are six the first one is a e is equal to c h is equal to g d here you can see this is a e this is c h and this is g d so all these distances are equal next is o f is equal to e d is equal to a g you can see o f is equal to e d is equal to a g next is c g is equal to h d is equal to b f you can see c g is equal to h d is equal to b f further we know that opposite sides of a parallelogram equal that means o a is equal to b c and o b is equal to a c why because opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal now we are going to consider six triangles from this figure and with the help of these six triangles from this figure we are going to verify the variance theorem see let us do one by one first of all we are going to consider the triangle a o e if you want to see the a o e see this is the a this is the o and this is e let me draw this figure here you can see that in this triangle a o e this is the angle theta 1 so while we are considering the sine theta we can write it as and you can see that in this triangle this is theta 1 so sine theta 1 is equal to a e upon o a from here we can write cross multiplying it we can write it a e is equal to o a sine theta and from this figure we know that o a is nothing but f1 so o a is nothing but f1 we can write it a e is equal to f1 sine theta 1 so this was about the very first triangle now we are going to consider another triangle as b o f triangle b o f so if you see that in this triangle b o f we have this angle as theta 2 and this angle as f2 so we can write it here as sine theta 2 is equal to b f upon o b so next step very next step we can write b f is equal to f2 sin theta 2 considering the next triangle as cod it will form by like this so this angle is theta and this is the resultant r so even in this triangle we can write sin theta sin theta is equal to cd upon oc and we can write cd as r sin theta going for consideration of next triangle triangle o a dash o o dash you can see this see there a dash o and the o dash in this the o o dash is x and the angle is theta 1 so we can write here also sin theta 1 as o dash a dash upon o o dash so further we can write r1 is equal to o dash a dash is equal to x sin theta 1 now going to consider another triangle as here you can see the triangle b dash o o dash b dash o o dash this angle is theta 2 this distance is r and this distance is r and this distance is x so we can consider the sine theta here as sine theta 2 is equal to o dash b dash upon o o dash and r2 is equal to o dash b dash is equal to x sine theta 2 now going to consider next triangle as triangle c dash o o dash you can see that c dash o o dash this distance is x and this distance is r so we can write sine theta as sine theta is equal to o dash c dash upon o o dash 
that means r is equal to o dash c dash is equal to x sin theta now applying the method of moments which says that the sum of moment is equal to the resultant force into the perpendicular distance of the resultant force r we can write is add as it is but in place of small r we know that small r is equal to x sin theta so we can write there small r into x sin theta further we can write it as x into r sin theta and we know that x into r sin theta can be written as cd and in place of cd we can write cd as ch plus ht which you can easily see from the figure so it is nothing but ch stands for f1 sin theta which we have proved it earlier and hd is nothing but it is f2 sin theta 2 if we cross multiplied it or we multiplied it open the bracket we get f1 x sin theta 1 and f2 x sin theta 2 in place of x sin theta 1 2 and x sin theta 2 we can write as f1 into r1 plus f2 into r2 that is the proof this is the varignan's theorem that we have to verify hence it is proof